Hi folks, we are continuing with city structure and we're looking at something called bid rent theory. So the rent part is what we want to pay attention to. So bid rent theory talks about the value of land from downtown further out. And the idea is that where the land is most valuable, you tend to have the highest rents And where the land is seen as less valuable, the rents and the cost of that land drops the further you go out. So if we have our downtown core, and again, that's the central business district. So central business district, most expensive rents, it's often where the banks are and often where the government buildings are. That's what that's supposed to be. As we move out from downtown, we have still high density housing. It still costs more. Any, if any of you live in rental properties, um, renting downtown closer to the school, way more expensive than going further and further out. So the idea is that they tend to increase density, have more housing on smaller areas of land, but they charge more. So as you continue to go out, you start to have single dwelling homes, and that could be suburbs or into the rural area. And when we go truly rural, that's where we have our, oh, there's chicken, chicken, pigs. So we end up going into farmland and sometimes we have factories so the further out you go the more affordable the land is there are a few exceptions to that and one of them is anything that is on the coast as soon as something is on the coast that increases the cost of it. So when we look at bid rent theory, downtown city core, more expensive, further out you go, the more affordable it becomes, the cheaper the land cost and taxes. But if we're looking at something that's on the coast or on a lake, that increases again. Does that make sense? There you go. That's another way of looking at city structure. Bid rent theory in particular with a reminder of central business district, housing that is higher density, leading out to suburbs and then rural with our chicken. There you go, thanks folks.